What's up guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's been a while since we dropped them. There has been a lot of stuff that's been going on since our last video. Me and Joe's got married out in Pakistan. We were gone for about a month and a half for that. If you guys check out my TikTok, I had bought a 2000 Civic Coupe as a daily driver. We put a motor in it and I was like, I don't really want this car anymore. So we sold that. Diego had a, a new tag since his old one got stolen. RIP to the Porto. But we got a new one and he's um, he just finished doing a head swap on that. We've been all just go mode. Everybody's been working. Everybody's been just hustling and you know making money so we can continue our projects. Um, I do want to update you guys on some cool stuff, which is going to be our comeback on YouTube. So on the CB7, we got everything pretty much completed on the H swap, the audio. Um, we ended up changing the dash bezel around the radio because the old one was cracked because someone tried to steal my old single then. Um, aside from that, the CB's just been sitting. It has an exhaust leak, and we need to do the five load conversion to get it dialed in. The SI, nothing has changed except for the fact that we have the bright seats on her now. Um, we're going to be retiring this car for a little bit for my daily use because yesterday I just picked up a new fucking daily and I'm super juiced to show you guys. It is a 2011 Mazda Miata NC2. Um, it, of course, it has an LSD. It's six-speed manual. It has the aero package, but we got some goodies with it. So we ended up getting it with some TN Flex coilovers, a Roadster Sport exhaust, and a radio that has Apple CarPlay, which just so happens to be the same exact radio I put inside the CB7 is in this car. So that's pretty cool. It is a power hard top, but yes, it is a LSD. It does need a little bit of work, but working at a dealership since I changed my jobs recently, um, I ended up getting a really good deal. They, they hooked me up and made sure that I was taken care of on the purchase. It was a hassle. Since Monday, we've been trying to track down the car. Tuesday, we got our hands on the car. Today is Friday. Paperwork is signed. The car is under my name. It's, it's we're rocking and rolling. So we got a new daily. Um, and then in the background, as you can see, Joe's truck is missing at the moment. And um, that is due to the drive shaft carrier bearing took a shit on us the other night. So, you know, Renee, Renee's taking, taking a look at it and he's gonna be fixing that since I don't have a lot of free time these days. But we got that one going. We're hopefully gonna be having the CB7 done for another attempt at taking it to a car show. We're gonna be out in Sacramento on May 28th um, at the museum. There's a museum in Sacramento that's having a Honda Accord specific car show. Um, different generations of Accords and CSXs. Uh, but we will be out there. Back to today's project. Today we're going to be kind of cleaning the Miata since I didn't have the detail at my dealership do any cleaning on it on purpose because I don't want any more swirl marks. Um, we're just going to be doing a slight decon and just kind of tidying it up so it looks a little better for the next few days. We appreciate you guys for watching. You guys stay tuned. Um, we're going to be having a lot more content coming soon. Now that we're back from our break, we're going to be spending more time on our days off to make some content for you guys. And we appreciate each and every one of you. If you guys like watching our YouTube videos, please hit the like, subscribe button. So appreciate each and every one of you guys. Just a little car wash montage as usual. Let's get it. I'm about to start up the CB7, which I haven't done in a while, so I just thought I'd record it. The h swap hasn't been getting any love, but eventually, eventually, I'm gonna start her up. Kill me. This motherfucker had no battery anyway. One crank, start. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys seen, but new dash bezel. No more cracks. We got a double DIN touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, Sony radio. Shout out to my boy Julius. My boy Diego came up with the oil pressure gauge on this bad boy. 
but we're gonna let her warm her up for a minute because I never like taking my cars right out when they're cold. The SI is back on HFPs because she wanted to take the car out and brought it back. I told her I'm like, don't curb my wheel, please don't curb my. She doesn't curb my wheel. But coincidentally, I got a nail in the sidewall. Big shout out to Jules. But then again, she let me buy the Miata, so I'll forgive her this time. We got the JDM, I think JDM, um, OEM tail lights. They look good on camera. I need to find somebody who could remove this tint. So it's the worst part of the car. And the rust. Very slight on the corners. Eventually we'll have this window taken out. What am I